Hi, I'm David from KNS Squared. Today we're going to be installing the UFO 650. Okay, the first thing we want to do when we're installing the UFO 650 is we want to connect everything up, connect the power switch and, and uh, power supply, plug it in and make sure everything lights up, make sure there's no bad connections. Sometimes in shipping things will get damaged so we want to make sure that you test it before you go through all the trouble of installing it. So after you get that just leave it on and set it on your bench while we get the uh, press prep for the uh, installation. Okay, the first step we're going to need to start with a paper towel that is completely soaked in denatured alcohol. This will help you get a good clean surface for your, bond, for your uh, adhesive. So we want to make sure that uh, we wipe this down really good. Also, we need to make sure that we get the uh, spot here back here for the uh, for the wire mount. Okay, the next step is we'll want to take our abrasive pad and we'll scuff up these areas. And this will uh, make sure that it it breaks that gloss coat and uh, will help you uh, also aid in the bond. And then, of course, the area there in the back for that uh, wire, where that wire mount is going to go. And now we'll start with a second uh, paper towel that is also soaked in denatured alcohol. Don't use the one that you used in the first step because that will have, still have some oil on it and you want to make sure that you're not wiping the oil back on. So this is a new clean paper towel. Okay, now we just want to let that dry. And a couple of key tips here is you want to make sure that your press is warm. So uh, it needs to be at least 80 or 100 degrees, uh, the actual metal of the press, because uh, that will give us the best possible bond. Okay, now the uh, press is clean, it's dry, and it's warm. And the uh, light is still on, so I want to go ahead and disconnect that, So because the adhesive is nice and warm now <clears throat> and our first step here is to go ahead and put this uh, wire mount back here and that is where we were cleaning just a second ago Next, we want to get our zip tie, a little small zip tie here, and we'll feed it through like this. And we want to put the pigtail, secure that with the zip tie. And we don't want to sunch it all the way down quite yet, just enough to hold it there. That will keep it, that will keep it from flopping around while we're trying to get it positioned. <coughs> and this LED strip will fit perfectly around the cutout here for the tool head. So we got it positioned. Now we just need to peel the protective backing off of the adhesive and you want to loosely position it first so you don't want to be pushing it down quite yet. This is just you want to get it in position. 
try to get as close to that edge as you can get. Press it into place. And once you have it in place, then you can go ahead and tighten this zip tie in the back here. Next, we want to hook our switch and our power supply. And ready to fire it up. And you have the you have two additional wire mounts that come with the kit, and you can use those to secure your switch to your uh, to your strong mount or to your bench or however you want. Uh. Mm -hmm.